Hey YouTube family, it's your girl Tiger here. I'm coming at y'all today to talk to y'all about my surgery and um, how I'm feeling. I had my uh, tonsillectomy and uvulectomy um, <clears throat> done on the 16th of this month. Um, it is now the 29th, so it has been um, just about two weeks. Let me see. 16, 10 more days. 14 days. <laughs> well, tomorrow it'll be two weeks. So today has been like, I guess, 13 days. Um. Uh. Oh my God, let me get out of the Jerry show. Because I love the Jerry show. But yeah, y'all. Um, yeah, it's been like um, just about two weeks. Um, I go back to work in two days. Um. And all I want to say is uh, toss, the tonsillectomy and everything was like one of the worst surgeries I ever had in my life. Like, I'm so uncomfortable. Um, I couldn't yarn or anything. Today was the first time I'm able to do a complete yarn. Like, yarn. It's still, it still hurt a little bit when I try to yarn but um I'm able to do a complete yarn anyway um and y'all uh I was able to uh get my fish tank together a couple of days ago um I still gotta find a filter uh for the tank but I did get the tank um the water clean and the water running in my 60 gallon tank um I was able to to feel a little bit better whereas I could do that because I haven't been feeling good at all so I haven't been able to do that my voice is still scratchy it still feel a little clogged up back there but um, for the most part I am healing um I mainly been eating stuff like soup um yesterday I actually had nerd to have um glazed donuts with my grandkids but um I mainly like soup and tea water um popsicles stuff like that but um yeah and today i'm about to go out I'm gonna go pay my rent and i'm about to go out and get me some fruit um from Publix because they have like really fresh fruit i'm gonna go to Publix and get me some fresh fruit and um that's pretty much it um i'm gonna go get the fruit and probably get this um water conditioner and stuff from my fish tank for my fish and um i'm gonna do some house cleaning and stuff in the house today pretty much and prepare myself for work in a couple of days and i go to my follow-up tomorrow um with my ent specialist and that's good because i got some questions i need to ask him um yeah, y'all, so that's pretty much it. I'm also in the process of looking for a different job. Um, my job is okay, but if they don't change my hours, I won't be staying there. Um, I don't like working till midnight. I don't like getting home till almost 1 o'clock in the morning. I also got to get my intent to return form back to Illinois for my teaching jobs there. Um, although I'm not in Illinois now, I may still be going up there to, like, teach um, so I can make more money. I might work for like two weeks, then take out for a week, then work for another two weeks, something like that, you know. <coughs> um, I haven't decided. I think I didn't really want to drive all the way up there, but I probably will um, because I'm going to need my transportation if I'm going to be, um, you know, working or whatever to get to the different teaching jobs and stuff like that there. So, um, yeah, I got to get that form um, filled out and turned back in. And, y'all, you know, um, I've had to let some people go in my life. Um, family members, um, other close people, and things like that because of how they treat me. And you got to teach people how to treat you. And when they don't treat you the way you know you're supposed to be treated, you got to you gotta show them, you know. And, um, like... I'm just starting to realize, like, <clears throat> I got to start <clears throat> thinking about myself. 
um, because um, my health is important and how I feel is important and stuff. And so I've been exploring all type of things. You know, I've even thought about moving to um, California, uh, things like that. But right now I'm going to stay put where I'm at um, so I can take care of some legal matters, uh, you know, as far as um, my teaching goes and stuff like that. And once I take care of that, then I have the option of going wherever I want to go or, you know, stay here if I want to stay here. You know what I mean? So, yeah, I'm going to be working on that. And um, I'm on break from school now to the 26th of June um, because after I had my surgery, it was just too much. It was too much um, with my work schedule and everything. It was just too, too, too much, you know. Um, and I got to start taking care of myself. My youngest daughter went away to college. She's in Hawaii and everything like that now. So I had a house all to myself. Um, and, um, yeah, so, you know, I'm, I'm in the process of uh, uh, reorganizing, getting rid of things, uh, um, making a nursery in my second bedroom now that my uh, daughter's gone for my reborns. And just not so much just a nursery, but a place where I can do things that I like to do, like my sewing, um, you know, um, painting, different things like that, you know, different activities that I want to do um, to indulge myself, you know, a reading room, whatever, you know, so, yeah. And here you guys, so that's pretty much it. Um, I've been reevaluating a lot of things in my life. You know, from how people treat me, how um, I know I'm supposed to be treated, just all kind of stuff. And, you know, the people that I'm keeping my life, people I'm not going to keep my life because, um, you know, it's just, you know, life is too short. And, you know, we got to, you know, we got to take care of ourselves, basically. And, um, you know, because there's only a handful of people in your life that's going to be there for you, that's going to look out for you, that's going to, you know, help you when going gets tough and stuff like that. And honestly, um, I can only really think of, um, I started to say, I started to say three, but I, I can only think of like really one person really in my whole life that's really, really been there for me, you know, and, um, you know, I mean, you you start seeing stuff, you know, and, you know, but that's another thing. Um, I got to be here for me, so I got to take care of me and do what I feel is best for me. And that's what I'm all about right now. Um, so, yeah, part of that is, like, diet changes and stuff like that. Um, so, I'm about to go out to Publix, and I'm about to get me some fresh fruit and veggies and things like that, you know, um, and I'm going to do a little haul of that video when I come back to show y'all what I picked up and what I plan on making to eat with it, you know, the meals that I plan on making and stuff like that, because right now it is 9.45, I haven't ate anything yet, um, all I've had is a glass of tea, and I believe I got another cup in the microwave that I had forgot all about, and I'm probably going to drink that, and then whatever but yeah um so my first meal of the day is probably gonna be some fruit you know or fruit salad um that i'm about to get when i go here to uh publix um and yeah i'm, I'm thinking like i want some vegetable pasta it's a few different things that i want and i don't really want to you know i just you know i've lost some weight so my intermittent fasting um really got a kickstart bigger when i got my tonsils took out so i went from 247 to uh 239 and then from 239 to two to, to 231.4 so and my my goal weight is um 200 pounds or 190 pounds make 185 you know that's my old weight you know that's my ideal weight um I used to say, I don't want to be skinny again and stuff like that there, but I don't want to be fat. I don't want to be, I don't want the gut no more. I want the gut to be gone. That, they got to go. So, yeah, that's what I'm working on. And, um, 
if you know because normally my normal weight is 200 pounds which is skinny the way i carry my weight and if don't nobody like me for you know my normal weight or, or who i am then they don't need to be around me anyway so yeah y'all and it's just like you know different clothes that i'll be going to wear that i used to wear and stuff like that it's just like i got to do what's best for me now so and that's what i'm working on but yeah i'm gonna go get this fruit um y'all see i did my nails myself um the stiletto style um and my feet i'm gonna work on those when i get back because my toes looking really uh like they need some tlc right now <laughs> Um, my feet in general though they soft because I take care of my feet you know I wash you know I take care of my feet I wash myself on a regular basis um, I keep my feet clean I always lotion my body down keep them soft and stuff like that there but my toe nails um, I got bad nerves and I get to picking pulling my nails off and stupid stuff like that yeah y'all yeah but um, I'm gonna pamper my feet today and uh yeah i just got to get myself ready for work and ready back and stuff like that and um that's what i'm gonna do um i've been off of work for two weeks so behind on a few things um and hopefully i get that taken care of or whatever because certain things got to get taken care of regardless um and i'm gonna go take care of a very big one which is the rent <laughs> so yeah you guys i'll be back checking with y'all later once i get this fruit show y'all what i picked up from um publix and stuff like that and um i'll talk to y'all later but other than that i'm feeling good you know as far as um who i am and where i'm going in life and stuff like that you know focusing on some things that i know i need to get taken care of so I can live the life that um, I'm supposed to be living. I didn't go to school all these years not to be living the life that I'm supposed to be living. So um, it's some things that I have to take care of so that, uh, you know, that'll happen. And um, I'm going to work on that. And I'm going to also work on me and, and what I need to do to make myself feel better. And right now it's just me. So I'm going to work on that. But <clears throat> I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.